I promise this is the last recording we're gonna do because we've done like 50. <laughs> we shall see about that. Okay, please introduce yourself. Hi everyone, my name is Ayanda Tejana and I am the founder of Zola Bullet Kids. Um, my company basically works with childhood development. Mm -hmm. We have a huge investment in parenting. Simply parenting is a skill to make sure that parents are able to create an environment of learning, mm -hmm. an environment of just fostering these amazing young children that they're bringing up. So is it about um, helping parents help their kids fulfill their p potential? Absolutely. Okay. And you know, um, I had worked in, in the childhood industry for a very long time, mm -hmm. being a teacher, and I found that there's such a huge difference in the work that we do as a school, as a daycare center, mm -hmm. and then the children go home, and then there's a whole lot of other things that happen there, mm -hmm. and then we constantly finding ourselves in a place where we're constantly starting all over every day. Mm -hmm. We've just expanded the business in such a way that I'm doing a lot of work, where I'm doing um, talks and workshops in the corporate, and I do a lot of CSI, which I really enjoy. We just came from a trip in Bulukwane. We were working with the villagers there, and it's just amazing. That sounds amazing. Yeah, absolutely. So, what would you say was like the biggest fear you had to overcome about starting a business? I think most, more than anything else, I had a huge confidence issue. I was scared to say, this is what I under believes, and this is why. Because, you know, sometimes you're looking for all this validation, you're looking for proof. Who is, has someone else done this if it hasn't been done? Who, who do you think you are thinking that you can make a difference? Yeah. You know, what degree do you have? What PhD or whatnot? Mm. You know, yeah. So, so, I don't think you answered my question. It, it, was, it was a confidence. The confidence. Yeah. So overcoming the confidence was the key for you to really get started? Absolutely. So I've done a lot of personal development over the past few years and mm -hmm. that has just made a huge difference. So what advice would you give like an entrepreneur that wants to start, especially female entrepreneur? Because I feel like there's a massive divide in terms of um, development, personal development and business development when it comes to female entrepreneurs versus male entrepreneurs. I think that anybody who wants to do anything, if, if you feel it. I can smell mm. the new office space that we were, we're going to be moving into <laughs> okay. um, soon in Joburg where we'll be surrounding the, the first 24-hour daycare center. Yeah. You know, you can't tell me. I, I know it. I feel it. I know it's going to work. I know so many people need the service. I don't even want to know about the stats. I, sure. I feel it in my bones. So I think that's all that matters, quite frankly. So is the advice that it takes. they need to trust? Trust the instincts. I think trusting your instincts is the best thing you can do because I think that's the closest you get to God, basically. To God? Yes. To your wow. God. Okay. <laughs> yes. That's why I'm saying in making this video, trust your instincts. Okay. Your instincts. <laughs> okay. So what excites you right now? What inspires you? What is the most beautiful thing in the world? So I'm doing the Lev Levi uh, Pioneer um, Nation, Nation um, mm -hmm. program talk in a few weeks time and I'm really excited about it. I'm excited because for the longest time I've been doing nothing but burning fingers with creating this business, creating this brand mm -hmm. and we've now gotten to a point where a lot of things are really starting to make sense and they're starting to show financially. Okay. And <laughs> And for the long, I mean, I've been kicked out of my house twice <gasps> with kids. Can you imagine? It's so, it's like, it's like no, a validation to say even that, you know what, you're doing something different. And, and you're doing something well. And you're doing something well. That's amazing. Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm always saying, the best response I ever get from my parents when I work with them is when they tell me that they see a difference in their children. For me, sure. I've, I've done it because now you get this parent who thought their child was naughty who starts seeing that this child is creative, that this child actually needs more stimulation. So it's a difference. It's a massive difference. Absolutely. And Absolutely. It's, it's, it's something you can't buy. It's, you know, I mean, Absolutely. I know that they have mad respect for me forever and I the same. That's amazing. I think we'll stop. <laughs> now we can stop.